This is a condition called vivipary. This is basically when seeds germinate prematurely while they're still attached to the parent plant or the parent fruit. And seeds contain a hormone that keep this from happening. And that's really important because that helps to keep the plant from germinating before conditions are optimum for it to thrive and grow. But sometimes that hormone runs out. And this commonly happens when fruit or some vegetables sit around on the counter in a warm kitchen for too long. It starts to mimic, you know, outside temperatures that are getting warmer and it signals for that seed to start to germinate. Now, I've had a, a lot of questions about tomatoes. That seems to be the most common thing that this occurs in, but it can occur in some other things. But it doesn't affect the edibility of the fruit or vegetable. You can still eat it. Now, it doesn't look great, but you can still eat it. It doesn't affect the flavor or the freshness or anything like that. You can certainly still eat that if you want to. And I've also had some questions about, well, can I pot these little sprouts and start a new plant? And you can certainly do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But most of our tomatoes and peppers and other things that we buy in the grocery store are hybrid plants. So the seeds that are produced from those plants are not going to be the same as the parent plant. The offspring is going to be different than the parent plant. So even if you grow that out and get tomatoes, it's likely that those tomatoes will be a little bit different. And so this can happen in a lot of different things. Tomatoes, like I was just saying, is the most common. I've had a lot of reports of that lately, probably because our kitchens are really warm right now and tomatoes have been sitting on the counter and they've basically started to sprout. Sometimes you don't know it until you cut the tomato open and then sometimes they actually start to just break the skin of the tomato and grow out. Now this can happen on strawberries, it can happen on peppers, it can happen in corn. It can happen in citrus and it can happen in some of our cucurbit plants as well. So it's definitely an interesting phenomenon, especially if you've never seen it before. It can be a little scary. You may think you've got something really creepy going on, but it's just uh, more normal than people realize.